And so depending on Pocopaya to score on floor, a 9 7 6 2. So it will be close to see who is in first place after the first rotation. As the standings come up, and yes, the United States has taken the lead away from Russia for the first time in history. Three more rotations. They will be on the beam when we get back. The States finished up on uneven bars. They have now taken the lead away from Russia. The U.S. is in gold medal position. That's the good news. The bad news is, LP, that they are on balance beam next. And remember, the balance beam was the event that caused them so many problems in compulsories. Anything can happen here. The balance beam coming up for the Americans. Six girls on the beam when we get back. Welcome back. And if you are a fan of the United States, do not go anywhere. They are in first place for the first time in history after one rotation in the team competition, the final here at the Olympic Games. And what's happened is the Romanians are making a chase on the Russians. They are about four-tenths of a point behind Russia. Russia is four-tenths of a point behind the United States. The United States will be warming up on balance beam. They have taken Amy Chow out, so she will be the odd person out. Because she has had some problems on the beam, she had a serious problem back at the Olympic trials. Watch very closely her head here. She slips and strikes her head on the side of the beam. She had a nice knot after that. And had she not gotten back up and finished the routine at the trials in Boston, she would not be here today. What a courageous fighter. Oh, it was incredible. She basically did that routine with one eye shut. And the reason why Amy's off beam as well, John, is because she has a lot of difficulty in her routine, and I think it's, it's a little risky to take those chances in today's team competition. There's room to error. This young lady is first up for the USA. She's typically solid and consistent. We should tell you that the United States' biggest problem and the compulsories was on this piece of apparatus. And typically, John, the first athlete sets the stage. I think if Amanda Borden goes up there and doesn't just make it through, but does a good routine, it'll settle this U.S. team down for balance beam. She has the nerves of being in Olympic Games. She has the fans screaming. And she has the blaring music of the Romanians on floor exercise to contend with. Amanda Borden. <laughs> coming up right here. This will set the stage. Gosh, she looks confident. Amanda may not have some of the more exciting elements that we're going to see later on from this U.S. team. But as I said, it's so, so important to be on first one up. It is so easy to doubt yourself just a little bit on beam, and when you do, you don't necessarily fall off, but you have what's called a balance check, and I don't think she's had one thus far. Amanda's 19. She narrowly missed a berth on the Olympic team four years ago. Just the dismount. Countries that are challenging the United States are Russia just behind them and Romania. It will put Ukraine in fourth position. We'll be following those stories for you. I tell you, I have seen Amanda Borden compete many times, and this is no exaggeration. This was the best beam routine I have ever seen her do, bar none. She is looking for that score. 9725, she'll take that one. 
The United States has not had a score lower than that yet. Her training partner, J.C. Phelps, what she's looking at is a piece of apparatus that tripped her up two days ago. She fell off the beam in compulsories. The whole team was shaken. It took Shannon Miller to get up there and do a near-perfect exercise to settle everybody down. Let's watch. States a little bit of breathing room. J.C. Phelps was 24th as a junior. Three years ago, she almost quit the sport. Ready, 